Mon devoir, c'est de vous garder en temps et on a déjà 15 minutes de retard. My duty has been to keep you on time and we're already running 15 minutes late. So, uh, let's get to work, folks. Uh, welcome back et re-bienvenue. We've kept you on a tight schedule and we're going to keep it happening. This is time, it is the time to honor the 2024 Cascade Awards. Since 2003, the annual Cascade Awards have recognized the outstanding people and institutions from across the Cask community that are demonstrating leadership, innovation, and impact in making science approachable, relevant, and accessible. I'm honored to kick off this year's award ceremony with our Cascade Institutional Member Awards. Institutional Cascade Awards are categorized according to the overall cost of the project. There are four awards categories, and we welcome submission from various projects, including temporary, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> temporary or traveling exhibition, new permanent exhibition or gallery, improvement of a permanent exhibition or gallery, multimedia or live presentation or planetarium show, or public engagement programs such as on-site or outreach educational interpretive school visits, camp festivals, weekend events, and much more. Cette année, nous sommes heureux de présenter un prix dans chacune des catégories. This year, we are thrilled to present an award in each category to member organizations who are making a tremendous impact with their exhibitions and programs. Once the winner is, is announced, this is very important, once the winner is announced, I ask that a representative make their way to the stage to my right to receive their walk before me, in front of me, to receive their award from the hands of Marianne, and you will be welcome to make very, very brief, 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 brief remarks, <laughs> as we want to be on time for the 1230 program. The first institutional award is for an outstanding project with a budget of 50,000 and under. And the nominees are Centre des Sciences de Montréal, Matinée Apaisée, dedicated morning times with adapted activities for families with children with special needs. And the Saskatchewan Science Center, Covalent Bonding and Inclusive and two SLGBTQ plus supportive adult only evening science events and connection. And the winner is, et le gagnant est, Saskatchewan Science Center for the Covalent Bonding event. Congratulations. The Saskatchewan Science Center took its traditional adult science night that provides fun and engaging ways for adults to explore science to the next level. Just like its namesake, covalent bonding was a coming together. Diverse people in an open and accepting environment. Hosted by two-spirited Dene First Nations, Shelazan LaRue, the event included partners, science activities, and local drag queen entertainment for an unforgettable evening. Um, I just want to thank everyone for at the Saskatchewan Science Center for helping us put together this amazing event. Um, it was an amazing audience. Uh, everyone was super duper welcoming and inclusive. Um, I got to do a show in drag myself, and um, as someone that has never been a part of that community or anything, they were so welcoming and helping us be able to tell this story. So. Um, it really speaks to science being for all, and I think that's a really important part of everything that we do uh, every single day. So I want to thank the team, and I want to thank everyone for this award. This is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> The next institutional award is for an outstanding project with a budget between $50,000 and $250,000.
Our nominees for this category are Discover Center, Trusted Voices, a multifaceted vaccine education and confidence initiative across Nova Scotian communities. Lotus STEM, Degrees of Success and Expanding Horizons annual conference serving to empower youth, young South Asian women and students in the STEM community. The Montreal Science Centre, Le Centre des Sciences de Montréal, Potager Techno, aimed at showing how science and technology can help grow fruit and vegetables in the urban environment. <laughs> Philip J. Curie Dinosaur Museum, Secrets of the Wapiti Raft Tour, engaging visitors in paleontology by taking them directly into the landscape. And the winner is et le gagnant est Discovery Center for their Trusted Voices exhibition. Congratulations to the Discovery Center. Trusted Voices is an initiative by Discovery Center's Why Immunize team, designed to promote vaccine confidence in Nova Scotian communities disproportionately impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. In partnerships with groups like the Africaville Museum, Mi'kmaq Matmwe School, and Pride Health, local leaders discussed vaccinations, hesitancies, and co-developed resources, community events, and an online series to connect with communities. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Um, this was such a great project for us, and that was why we chose it to put forward, because it really was such a great example of um, not only the work we try to do every day, but engaging uh, underserved communities in that work. Um, special thanks to some folks at home. Uh, Ryan Jamison, our Director of Science Education. Um, Jillian Phillips, our Manager of Science Education. Andrew Howe, who no longer works on the project, but was instrumental. Um, our own Leah Vino, a manager of marketing and communications. Um, but a special thanks really to the communities that we were in. So the Mi'kmaq community, the African Nova Scotia community, and the LGBTQ plus communities for welcoming us and uh, helping us facilitate this great program. Thank you. I love awards. The next institutional award is for an outstanding project with a budget between $250,000 and $1 million. Our nominees for this category are Ingenium Aquaculture, Farming the Waters, shining a light on innovations that help make aquaculture more sustainable in Canada. Musée de l'Ingéniosité, J. Armand Bombardier, Cerveau Inventif, a traveling exhibition to inspire teens to explore their creative potential. <laughs> Science North, Mine Evolution Digital Game, making the science behind modern mining and critical minerals fun and engaging through online play. And the winner is, et le gagnant est, Science North for their Mind Evolution Digital Game. Congratulations. Science North's Mind Evolution is a bilingual and free online digital game that makes the science of modern mining more approachable, relevant, and accessible for a large and diverse audience. The game's mission is to build Canada's green future as players collect treasures, unlock technology, and build. Exciting and interactive, it inspires the next generation to engage in the essential role that the industry plays in a greener and more sustainable future. I'll be brief. Okay, I promise I'll be brief. Um, I think that some of the coolest projects start with what if. 
And I think you can all relate to that feeling when you're in a meeting and someone says, what if we, and then it turns into something. That was this project. We had planned to do a large scale traveling exhibition on this topic right before the pandemic. And we sort of stalled a bit. And then when everyone saw that the world was turning upside down, we said, okay, what if we just made a video game? <laughs> And we did. Um, and so we have amazing partners in the Canadian Institute for Mining and Metallurgy, and they really were the content partners for this. And then working with some incredibly creative folks, um, that's what we did. And it's available for free download. Uh, you can play it offline as well. So before you get on your flight home, download the game, play it, and let us know what you think. So great job, uh, the team at Science North and Dynamic Earth. And uh, we really appreciate this recognition. Thank you. Our final institutional award is for an outstanding project with a budget of one million and over. The nominees for this category are Science World Creative Technology Gallery, an immersive fusion of science, art, and technology inspired by BC's creative community. and the Toronto Zoo New Orangutan Habitat, over 13,000 square feet of seven orangutan, is that, yeah, right, now call home, built to better address the physical, social, and intellectual needs of this critically endangered species. And the winner is Le Gagnant et Science World for their Creative Technology Gallery. Congratulations. Science World's Creative Technology Gallery is the institution's first interactive and immersive digital gallery. It displays a belief that creative technology can be a career path and a form of expression accessible to everyone. It embodies innovation and provides a platform to explore through connections to the local community. Intuitive and immersive, it fosters play and discovery with every station and encourages its visitors to shape a better world through sharing their own stories. Yeah, thanks, Kask. This is a prestigious award. We're really honored. I would like to thank our team back home, too, uh, and also DGBC, our partners, Phoenix Labs, NGXL, AV Integrators, and also their help with coming up with a really strong narrative to dream, build, and play, and help our visitors tell their own stories through creative technology. We're really stoked. Uh, it is also a traveling show, so well, we're thinking about traveling in it, so if you're interested, come and see us. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Congratulations to all our institutional award winners and to our nominees. It is really incredible and inspiring, the work that you've all put together. Now shifting gears, we'd like to present the individual Cascade Awards to the people who have stood out this past year in helping to advance the mission of their institutions, and above all, help to support a thriving innovation and science culture in Canada's STEM learning community. Once your name is called, please join us on stage to receive your award, pause for a photo, and say a few words. The first award is in the Emerging Professional category. The award is given to a creative, effective, inspirational individual emerging as a leader and or innovator in the Canadian Science Centre and Museum community. The work of the emerging professional is having a demonstrable, dem demonstrable effect now and, and show great promise for the foreseeable future. Now, I'm thrilled to say that this year we had a tie for our emerging professionals and we will be awarding two outstanding individual awards. This year's first award for Emerging Professional goes to Renata Brand from Science North. <laughs> Renata is a scientist turned marketer and brings her rich background along with her passion to science communication. She pioneers evidence-based digital media and revolutionizes with innovative systems for engaging with the community. 
Her problem solving and coordination skills are just a couple of the things that make her leadership shine. Her contributions are indispensable and have been shaping the success of Science North's positive impact. Wow, what a surprise, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> And without missing a beat, our second award for Emerging Professional is presented to Dave Luz from the Saskatchewan Science Center. Congratulations, Dave. Dave began with the Saskatchewan Science Centre in 2022, igniting his passion for science education. His dedication and enthusiasm quickly propelled him to workshop facilitation, outreach initiatives, day camps and more. Driven by his desire to empower young minds, he's transitioned to head the Go Code Outreach Program, touching the lives of over 40,000 Saskatchewan youth. Contributing to diversity programs and engaging with audiences of all ages, his commitment and genuine passion knows no bounds. I just want to say thank you very much. I did not expect to get anything like this, and it's really inspiring to be around a bunch of people who do the same kind of stuff, and I'm hoping to keep building on this. So thank you so much. The next individual Cascade Award is for the category of Exceptional Program and Project Leadership. This individual has gone above and beyond their role responsibilities and have had a positive impact on people, facilities, or experiences within the Canadian Science Centre Museum community. <clears throat> the Cascade Award is for Exceptional Program Project Leadership goes to Jennifer Gimmel from TELUS World of Science Edmonton. Jennifer is an accomplished professional with a contagious passion for science education. She has contributed as a programs instructor, outreach coordinator, program specialist, and founded the youth robotics team. As a staff scientist, she led the team for the science garage and steam engine and developed many traveling exhibits as well as events including Women and Girls in Science Day, to name only a few of her incredible accomplishments and contributions to the team. Yeah, that photo's about right. <laughs> um, this is truly an honor, and I want to thank my team, Team Purple, so much for this and for nominating me. That's totally unexpected, and, but it really takes a village. I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for all the wonderful people back home and that are at that table with me and around the room as well. So thank you so much. Congratulations. And the final individual Cascade Award is for Outstanding Career Achievement. <clears throat> Awarded to an inspirational thought leader who has made significant long-term contributions to the Canadian Science Centre museum sector during their tenure and is deeply committed to building a thriving science and innovation culture of engaged citizens. <clears throat> This year's Outstanding Career Achievement Award goes to Donna Kipta from TELUS Spark. Known as the very own Miss Frizzle, Donna's dedication and passion is invaluable to TELUS Spark. A lifelong learner with expertise in inquiry-based learning, she inspires curiosity and teaches science the way it should be taught, through wonder and questioning. Responsible for the Chevron Open Mind Science School, she has created a legacy of tens of thousands of students, teachers, and colleagues who are now more science literate and love to learn and marvel at the world around them. Wow, 
Well, uh, thank you so much. I'm a bit uh, speechless because I, I never thought I'd win one of these. Um, but uh, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, my nominators and uh, the whole team at Telespark. Uh, I always learn so much from every one of our, our team members, and so uh, I want to thank the, the whole team at Telespark uh, for inspiring me every day. And uh, I work with a lot of students every day, and it's those students that bring so much light, so much curiosity, and so much passion that fuels me every day. So uh, I, I do want to thank all the students that I've ever worked with over the years, uh, and all the amazing staff um, and volunteers and parents and teachers that uh, continue to inspire me. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you and big congratulations to all of this year's award recipients and thank you to all of you for being here to celebrate with us this afternoon. Our concurrent session for the remainder of the afternoon will resume at 12.30. Please have a look at the app to find the session that best suits you. There's a lot of great options to choose from. I really want to take this time. There's a few minutes extra for you to mingle and congratulate your, your peers and your colleagues. This was such a great award time to celebrate all the great work that you do, so congratulations once again. And a, and a reminder that after the concurrent session, we will be back in this room at 4 p.m. for our final, final fireside chat and to close our time together. Thanks again.